In the history of sports, we have seen athletes of all backgrounds and builds write their names in the history books and create a legacy. Without a doubt, one of the most prolific examples of this in the modern era is Cristiano Ronaldo. From top to bottom, in and out of the field, he is that guy. For example, love him or hate him, Cristiano Ronaldo's incredible efforts when it comes to charity work cannot be ignored. From donating the $1.4 million he received from selling his 2011 European Golden Boot to fund building a number of schools in Gaza to reportedly donating seven million dollars to save the children's disaster relief fund after the Nepalese earthquake in 2015. His efforts are certainly admirable. They go on and on. Imagine being a prolific athlete, being prolific at everything that you do, being considered one of the best, if not the best in history, having a successful clothing line, lines of hotels, and then after all of that, coming home to lie down next to your supermodel girlfriend, Georgina Rodriguez, on top of all of your millions of dollars, enough to make her a celebrity and go as far as having her own Netflix special. Yes, this was worded that way because usually people like this are not kind and are not proper not Cristiano Ronaldo. He is all of those things, but also a kind human being, philanthropic feature. In fact, it is believed that his generosity and hunger to help mankind has kept him from getting tattoos over the course of his career. Stories continue to emerge about Cristiano Ronaldo doing good deeds all around the world. And one of those is the fact that he regularly donates blood. In fact, he is so devoted to giving blood that he refuses to get any tattoos so that he can donate more frequently. Now, those with tattoos can give blood, of course, but they can't do so immediately after because of the risk of infection. Guidelines currently state that donors should wait four months to give blood after getting a tattoo, which may suggest that the Manchester United player donates on a very regular basis. We can all make a difference by donating blood. Each donation can benefit up to three people in emergency situations for long-term medical treatments, Ronaldo has said in the past. Ronaldo registered as a bone marrow donor and began regularly donating blood when his Portugal teammate Carlos Martins revealed in 2011 that his son had been diagnosed with leukemia and needed regular blood and bone marrow transfusions. If this does not show you in greater detail what CR7 is all about from the human side of things, nothing will. The man has a successful playing career, business endeavors, supermodel wife, gorgeous kids, and the money to take care of many generations of features. These all happen for a reason. He is kind and deserving of everything that comes his way. What do you think of CR7 refusing to get tattoos to be able to donate blood regularly and change humanity for the better? We'll read you in the comments. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.